This video is going to address an issue that some of you may be having when you're trying to bring in audio files that you recorded on your cell phone. Let me show you the error that you're going to get. So I'm trying to open an MPEG-4 audio file, uh, which is um, the way many of your cell phones are going to record your audio files. When I try to open it, I'm going to get this error. It says, Audacity attempted to use FFmpeg to import an audio file, but the libraries were not found. So, what we need to do is go and download those libraries and install them. It's pretty easy, though, so let me show you how to do it. Just click OK on that, and it's going to give you another error, and say OK. Go up here to the top and click on Edit, and go down to Preferences. In the Preferences window, go to Libraries. Of course, we've already installed the MP3 library. So go to the FF Import Export Library and click on Download. And we've seen this page before. So where it says Windows, click on the link that says Download Page. And we've already done the lame.exe, but uh, we've not done the FFmpeg, which is what we want. So go ahead and click on the exe, and it will begin to download. And give it a few seconds to download. Depending upon your connection speed, it may go fast or slow. The Wi-Fi here at the college right now is running rather slow, so it's going to take a few seconds. Okay, it's downloaded now. So let's click on that and run it. And it's going to say the publisher could not be verified. Are you sure you want to run this software? We're going to say run it. We're going to trust it. And tell it yes. Of course, uh, we're going to use English. Um, and now just follow the setup wizard. Click next, next, let it install there, next and install and finish now go back to audacity and if we hit locate it should say that audacity has automatically detected valid ffmpeg libraries do you still want to locate them manually and we are going to say no and now it's located the libraries and click OK so now if I go to file import audio and I try to bring in that that uh, audio file from my cell phone it opens perfectly and so you'll install that and you will have no troubles in the future